Yes, it's that time again, and we're at the track covering the sport of kings in the show this week. A Sir David Seal three-year-old colt unstoppable in the R Seal Sprint Trophy at the Garrison Savannah in Barbados. In Jamaica, three-time champion trainer Antonin Nunes's legit boss aces the war zone sprint for her first win in over a year at Caymanis Park, where the four-year-old Emperor of the Cats shrugs off a six-month layoff with a fluent win in the Awufa Sprint. We flashed back to TNT's nursery stakes, where champion trainer John O'Brien advertises another champion. And more success for top Barbadians up north, trainer Safi Joseph Jr. with a Tampa Bay Down Stakes win and jockey Patrick Husbands with stakes triumph number 16 in the 2023 Woodbine season. Plus some weekly stats on Caribbean success on the North American continent. Our opening story from Barbados. Here's Sir David Seal's Major Dan with Ray Williams aboard, the favorite for Friday's main event on the Garrison Savannah night card, the RL Seal Sprint Trophy. Major Dan consistent but winless since mid-April, the 6-5 favorite for the $25,000 event over 5.5 furlongs. The betting otherwise pretty competitive, the three-horse binary code, the winner last time out, the second favorite at 8-5, number four, let it be me, the Guinness winner in June is at 3-1, so to the five-horse sovereignty coming off a late November win, Neil Gill in the combox picks them up early in the sprint. Four furlongs left to travel, and it's Major Dan and Ray Williams standing tall in the saddle. In front now by a length from on the inside, that is Let It Be Me. Then comes Binary Code, Harley's Dream, and Sovereignty is badly outpaced at this stage. Three furlongs left to travel, and it's still Major Dan and Let It Be Me. Going right next to him, um, there's a, length, a, a gap of about three or four lengths to Binary Code. Another four lengths back to Harley's Dream and then a length back to Sovereignty as they pass the mile marker. They've done the opening quarter in 25 and 3. And it is still Major Dan in front. Ray Williams now asks him to go on and he does so quite well with us about a furlong to go. And it is Major Dan in front. The others are running for second place. Here comes Binary Code. But will he get there? It is all Major Dan. Here comes Harley's dream with a run. But it's all over. Barda shouting. A very easy performance. Major Dan, the Guinness runner-up in June, snaps a four-race winless streak for his third victory in 12 lifetime starts. All of his wins over five and a half furlongs. Ray Williams aboard for the four-length win in the RL Seal Sprint as the Henry Bino-trained Major Dan clocks 1 minute 12.40 seconds in the week ahead of his owner Sir David Seal's 86th birthday. The 8-1 bet Harley's dream second and sovereignty at 3-1 third. Two Jamaica's Cape Manus Park now where there was a two-meet weekend kicking off on Saturday with the War Zone Sprint Trophy as the main event. Run in honor of the Hall of Fame inductee, the 1996 Horse of the Year and Triple Crown winner, War Zone. 11 horses going five and a half furlongs. Here's ace commentator Brian Rickman watching the 7 to 1 bet Legit Boss in control and eyeing her first win as a three year old. Legit Boss narrowly by a length over Joyce Golden. Awesome Anthony moving up to take them on. Sensational move is passing horses on the extreme outside. Volatility is the one racing on the rail as they have left the half mile marker. Bazinga is also right there too as they go charging up now toward the final three eighths of a mile. A break back to Milos. Burning Valor making some progress. Ella Fortunado is next. And last of all, it's a Kai on the go as they have left the 5-16th about to come into the top of the lane. Legit Boss has to be caught. Sensational move. Now beginning his run on the outside. Awesome Anthony is down against the rail. Joy is golden running on the spot with Lady Abimala. Bazinger out wide, but it's still Legit Boss showing them his rear end with a furlong to run. Sensational move now trying to grind the leader down, but Legit Boss continues to hold the advantage. Awesome Anthony trying to close upon the rail. It is Legit Boss fighting them off. Legit Boss and Radish Roman will take the Warzone Sprint Trophy. Jockey Radish Roman in an afternoon double and five wins in three race days. Trainer Anthony Nunes also with a double. This filly had not won since November last year in the Pick 3 Super Challenge when beating Mamma Mia and Talita, who both went on to win classics this year. Legit Boss in her first three-year-old win, splendidly prepared by trainer Nunes to snap a nine-race winless streak in a win by a length and a half at 7 to 1 odds over Awesome Anthony with a favorite sensational move third. 107 and 2 fifths the winning time for the 5.5 furlong war zone sprint. Good pace also decided Sunday's main event, the Awufa sprint, with a four year old gelding, Emperor of the Cats, grabbing the lead early as the favorite in the hands of Siobhan Townsend. 
Emperor of the Cats, putting on the speed, leads by now some four lengths. God of Love trying to chase with KP Choice. They're all in a tight grouping as they charge away now toward the final five sixteenth. Emperor of the Cats stretching that lead or God of Love and a KP Choice. On Ruli Boss and Race Car now coming to the lane, racing out wide, but it's Emperor of the Cats who has it as they sprint past the 316th. Emperor of the Cats in control at the moment. God of Love in the red with Burlap in the yellow cap just on his inside. KP Choice scrapes paint against the rail. Race Car is out wide, but they're inside the final furlong, and it's Emperor of the Cats. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fastest of them all? Emperor of the Cats is, and Emperor of the Cats will win the Ahufa Sprint. Emperor of the Cats in his first run since May is unchallenged in a smooth win here by four and a half lengths. Last year's Prince Consort Stakes winner in 2000 in his third placer behind Blue Final and Brings, completing back-to-back -back wins and nine lifetime victories. The 8-5 to five favorite Emperor of the Cats, the conduit to complete an afternoon double for both claiming apprentice rider Siobhan Townsend and trainer Carl Anderson. Also the winning owner and breeder skillfully bringing the gelding back to the races after over six months in unbeatable condition. 113 even the Awufa six furlong sprint winning time. Trinidad and Tobago's December two meet at Santa Rosa Park was of course highlighted by Soka Harmony's win in the Stewards Cup highlighted in last week's show. But there was also the nursery stakes for two-year-olds that served up another headline story. Winning the Stewards Cup was only part of champion trainer John O'Brien's successes on the card. Here in the nursery stakes, his big one to five favorite headlines again is unstoppable under champion jockey Brand Budram Singh. Despite breaking away from her handlers before the race and forced to make the long trek back to the starting gates. A riveting jockey style race unfolding here as well. Reigning champion Budram Singh here with both feature race victories and with 11 wins, trailing Dylan Keller 113 and Tristan Phillips 12. So Budram Singh is within two of the jockey's lead despite spending six months away in Canada. O'Brien horses have now won four of the last five nursery stakes races. Ruth Wen Smith's headlines again by three and three quarter lengths for her second win in two starts, chased by Authenticity clocking 101.56 for the five furlong sprint. Barbadian Sapi Joseph Jr. is number 12 on the trainer's leaderboard in all US and Canadian racing this year. Remarkably, he has won the last eight consecutive Gulfstream Park trainer's titles. His latest stakes triumph coming though from nearby Tampa Bay Downs. Sapi's entry in Saturday's City of Ocala, Florida, Sar Stakes is a seven-year-old mare, Blue Field, on the rail here with jockey Sammy Camacho in the red silks, stalking the lead and gearing up for a winning run in the $100,000 event. Dream Concert midway around the far turn, a length and a half to the good. Of Atomic Lee in second, Bluefield continues to ride the rail from third down toward the inside. Charlie's Wish has a three deep trip in fourth. Hi, hello, how are you? Has made a little bit of progress, is up to fifth now. As Dream Concert and Antonio Gallardo turn for home in front. Bluefield trying to work off the rail. She comes to the outside of Dream Concert. As Dream Concert sets sail for home, here's Bluefield drawn within a length and a half on the outside. Two more back to Atomic Lee. Down the far outside, Charlie's Wish. Dream Concert digs into the 16th pole. Bluefield going to try to make it close in these final 70 yards. Here's Bluefield on the outside of Dream Concert Bluefield surges to the front. Dream Concert Bluefield. 15 stakes wins on the current season now for Safi Joseph as Bluefield, with reigning champion jockey Sammy Camacho, wins the Florida Sar Stakes over seven furlongs in 122.47. Her first stakes victory by a neck as a 9 to 5 favorite over Dream Concert, third atomically, whose owner's group includes former champion owner in Jamaica, Michael Bernard. And finally, no rider at Canada's Woodbine Racetrack this season has as many wins as Patrick Husbands, the Barbadian, boosting his tally this past weekend to 16 with a win in the La Prevoyante Stakes with a favourite, Fashionably Fab. The 50-year-old Husbands, second in green silks, having cruised most of the trip, stalking the front-running Strega. But watch now as Husbands rouses the three-year-old filly and turns the eight-and-a-half furlong run into a no contest. As they come down to the final quarter, Fashionably Fab racing up on the outside of Strega. In third, Tito's calling from My Girl Sky. And to the inside, talk to you later as they sprint for the judge. Fashionably Fab has raced away. Fashionably Fab got out in front by a length and a half or two. In second, Tito's calling, knuckling down, and then came talk to you later. Fashionably Fab in front. It is fashionably fab, clear, talk to you later, running into second spot. And as they go down to the wire, another stakes win. Four consecutive stakes wins this for fashionably fab, scoring the La Prevoyante by two and a half lengths as the one to two favorite. 
1.45.60, fashionably fabs winning time for trainer Kevin Attard. Our usual tally of wins for Caribbean racing men in the USA and Canada before we go. I've counted in the past week since our last show, 24 victories. Among them, the Barbadian jockey Rashawn Latchman with a Thursday double at Charlestown, where he remains a top four rider. And the Jamaican jockey Romero Ramsey Mirage, he had four wins at Aqueduct, where the Guyanese trainer Randy Prasad won twice. We've been at the track, covering top stories and exciting races in the sport of kings. Check us out again next week. <laughs>